Lois, my personal roaster, my pet parrot, and my best friend. I am so honored that today I get to become your husband. As we continue to grow on this journey together, I can't help but thank God for his grace in our relationship. From that bubble tea outing at church to me stalking you at the PTC conference, I'm so thankful that he has brought us to each other. Lois, you motivate me to be a better person than I ever thought I could be. When I look at you, I'm in awe at how beautiful you are, both inside and out. You are loyal, dependable, and have been my focus when I've been scattered. You make the day bright when it seems dark, and you can light up the entire room with just your laugh and smile. Kevin, my best friend, giggle buddy, and tickle monster. When I first met you, I was infatuated with your gentle confidence, tender spirit, your hair full of secrets, and your jawline stronger than our Wi-Fi. I was so drawn to you, not only because you were small like me, but you were so humble, down to earth, driven, adventurous, and on fire for Jesus. Looking back at the past five years, I can so clearly see now God's ultimate plan for us. A beautiful and messy plan he chose for us to live our entire lives apart until now. This is the moment we become one in front of God, our family, and our friends. This is the moment that we were meant to finally put an end to all the missed birthdays, Christmases, New Year's, and replace them with thrilling grocery runs and deep cleaning our home together. The past five years have been the longest five years of my life, and I can't believe we finally made it. You are a million dreams and a million prayers of a little girl come true. Thank you for intentionally loving me and pursuing me in the most Christ-like way I've ever known. Lois, I pledge myself to always be loyal, honest, kind, patient, and forgiving with you. I vow to commit myself to our family that we will build together. To be the best father I can be because I know you will be the best mother. And finally, I vow to be the man that Christ has saved me to be and to be the man that you deserve. Lois, I love you unconditionally and I always will. The past five years have been the longest five years of my life, and I can't believe we finally made it. You are a million dreams and a million prayers of a little girl come true. You've told me to keep going when I knew I wasn't going to make it, and you made me see my worth in Christ when I could not see it. 
You make me better. You make me laugh the hardest and my heart the safest. And so today and the rest of my days, I will choose this life of adventure with you. With God as my witness, I promise I'll start learning the game of basketball so I can cheer at the same time as you. I promise to be your spell checker and tell you when words need to be capitalized and when hyphens are needed. And finally, I promise to be your best friend, to appreciate your compassion, to believe in you, to nurture your dreams, and to be your partner in all things. I love you. Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens another. This is what Kevin has been, the type of person to call out my sin, keep me accountable, and to constantly pray for me and lead me back to Christ. So thank you, brother, uh, for doing that in my life. I'm so overjoyed and blessed to be able to stand by your side today, celebrating the fruit of your relationship together, grounded in the love of Christ. So one day, my world turned an entire 360 degrees. She told me about this guy that she had met that she was raving about and crushing hard for. Throughout their journey together, I was fortunate enough to spend time with them through numerous casual hangouts and dates that I have lost count of. Seeing them together over the span of five years, they have shared so much happiness. She would always tell me how much she misses him and how emotional she gets after not seeing him for a while because of their long distance relationship. But through all the odds and situations they have went through, they stayed strong, never faltering, just like their faith in God. If I was to give my best friend away to someone, I would choose Kevin because of the connection that they have together, both in height and personality.